This shows two types of systems I use to keep the arms up on a cafe late robot. So we'll look at the first one, which is uh, uh, using magnets. There's a little video on these two, how they work here. So you can see there's a 10 millimeter by, I think it's about 2.6 thick. Um, magnet that just presses in. These clip onto the arm and what I'm using, they hold fairly well. I'm just using elastics to wedge them in. We'll see that in a second. Now if you jiggle it a little, it may fall down, but just getting a simple elastic and wrapping it around will provide really good resistance so it won't move around. So you can just push that over the elastic and then you can trim the, the rest of it. And then just push the magnet in, you don't need to glue it. That's the installation for the for the magnet. Now to print it, uh, there are a couple of uh, different STLs I provide, one for single, one for double. This is what the uh, a single part looks like. And the next part is just mirrored in the X and Y, so I provided a plate with both these. Now they do require some support. And let's see, we can look at what that support looks like. Here, I've just added or painted on actually some support. Just a a strip underneath here, bring that up, and a strip under here and a strip there. That's all you need. Now this is using Prusa Slicer, but you could use Super Slicer or Cure or anything. You just need some, a small amount of support there. I use 0.2 millimeter layer height. Uh, my support settings, if you're interested in that, are here. The most important thing in Prusa Slicer, you use Snug. That's what I use for my detachable so you can see my settings there. And the layers and perimeters I used for 0.2 layer infill is not really important. Um, I for output uh, I did complete individual uh, items individually set this to 100 so it doesn't get any complaints and away you go. So that was one uh, type of way to keep the arms up. The other is using a simple little clip and this is really super simple. Uh, it's a little clip like this and I make it in two different thicknesses. Uh, 1.5 millimeters or 2 millimeters should be enough for most robots. We'll take a look at what that looks like. And often the simplest is sometimes the, the best or the easiest. You can see what these two clips look like. You just press the clip on there, move it over, and that holds it up very well. Now that has actually more force uh, for holding it up than the magnets. That is, it won't fall down if you jiggle the, the port. So sometimes the best solution is the simplest. Uh, there are two solutions there. One's a little more complicated, use magnets. That's sort of a neat solution, and uh, the other use clips.